Rachel Malatesta, and I want to welcome you to Arroyo Verde Elementary School at No Excuses University. We are very excited to begin a new year and are so pleased that you are part of the Aztec family. At Arroyo, we are committed to educating every student in a way that prepares them for college. We are dedicated to three core beliefs. We are committed learners, we are character-centered, and we are college ready. Elementary education is the foundation for all future academic achievement. As you walk around campus, you will notice that each classroom has adopted a college or university. The moment students step through our gates, the journey to college begins, and every student has the right to an education that makes college possible. We hope you share in our excitement in creating the brightest future imaginable for every Aztec. Every Monday, we show our school spirit by wearing our Arroyo Verde shirts. And every Friday, we will show our commitment to being college bound by wearing spirit colors representing our adopted colleges and universities. Look around your child's classroom and it will be evident which college or university their class represents. As we begin this school year, you will see our college spirit in flags, shirts, and chants. But more importantly, you will feel our enthusiasm and dedication for ensuring that each student is college ready. In your start of school information, you will find a student and parent handbook, as well as our three-way pledge. We are looking for your signed commitment, along with your child and their teacher, to work together this year to help your child be one step closer to their college dreams. On this form, we ask that you participate and support your child's learning and take five with them every day. Please look through the information in your parent handbook and sign the three-way pledge right now. Please keep the pink copy for yourself and leave the yellow and white copy for your child and their teacher. They will add these to your child section in the class's classroom management binder. Here at Arroyo, you will find a common language and expectation across our campus. It doesn't matter if students find themselves in the cafeteria, playground, computer lab, or classroom. Our school rules are always the same. Be safe, be character-centered, and be ready to learn. Every day our classes begin with a morning meeting. The first 25 days of school, those meetings have a predetermined topic, and classes watch a video about one of our 25 expected behaviors. They use this time to discuss what those expectations are and how they can put them to practice. Additionally, all classes have a similar classroom management plan. Students who break our student code of conduct sign the book in class and may be assigned a rethinking letter. All character violations are recorded in the same book all year long and teachers will speak with parents if they notice a trend in behavior. Any staff member may correct a student's behavior and will require students to sign the book. Your child's teacher will have more information about the classroom management plan and our Character Counts Student Recognition Program. You are an important part of your child's success. To find out more about how you can support Arroyo, here is our PTA president. Hello, my name is Iwana Contreras. I'm very excited to be back again for another year as PTA president. Our board is looking forward to an amazing year. There are a few ways you can support PTA right away. Every student received a PTA membership envelope. Please complete the envelope and include $10 for each adult member. This money supports our school, district, state, and national PTA. You are also able to donate a flat amount to support our PTA in this envelope. Every dollar of the donation amount comes straight to Arroyo Verde. Joining PTA in no way obligates you to volunteer or attend meetings, but it shows your commitment to supporting our school and the children at Arroyo Verde. If you would like to attend PTA meetings, to get involved with PTA, please join us in the library on the second Thursday of each month. Finally, you can volunteer. As I conclude my last year as PTA president, it has been an honor and I've learned so much. I challenge all of you to get involved and be active with your children's activities and classroom. Now I'd like to introduce Redlands Education Partnership, another group that offers great support to Royal Verde. Thank you and welcome back. Hello, my name is Mallory Mudge and I am here on behalf of the Redlands Educational Partnership Foundation. Since its inception, the Rep Foundation has donated over $1 million to enrichment programs throughout our USD schools. As a former teacher and a district parent, I know how important enrichment programs are to our students. During the 2013-2014 school year, REP funded over $30,000 in grants to teachers for innovative classroom programs. REP also gave over $60,000 in funds to schools for technology, arts, gardens, and science enrichment. 
The Rep Foundation raises money through community and corporate grants, along with individual donations. The goal of our Rep 10 campaign is to receive a donation of $10 per student. We appreciate any donation made to continue enriching our students' education. Donation envelopes are available in your school office. Thank you for your time, and on behalf of the Rep Board, I wish you and your family a successful school year. One of the most important things I would like to remind families about is campus safety. Our students have the right to a safe campus, and it's the responsibility of each and every one of us to keep them safe. With this in mind, we ask all adults to stop in the office before entering campus, even if it's just to drop off a forgotten lunch or jacket. Ms. Kathleen and Ms. Janet are here to welcome all visitors to campus. Everyone must sign in and place either a visitor or volunteer badge on in a visible spot. If you plan on volunteering on a regular basis, please talk with your child's teacher or the office about our volunteer requirements and having your own badge made. Please remember our instructional time is very important. Please work with your child's teacher to schedule your volunteer or visitor time in advance to help limit interruptions. Each child must have a current emergency card on file. It is critical that we are able to reach you in the event that your child becomes ill or injured during the school day. Please remember that only adults listed on the emergency card will be authorized to pick up your child from school. Let all adults on the card know that they must have photo ID in order to pick up a student, as we will not release students if we cannot verify ID. Our parking lot is a very busy place. The north and south parking lots are both one-way streets. We know that sometimes parents are in a hurry, but for the safety of all of our students, every car must go the same direction and drive slowly. We ask that you pull as far forward as possible to allow pickup and drop off to run smoothly. Please do not stop at the first curb in the upper parking lot. Please pull all the way around to the kindergarten stairs. Remember that yellow curbs are for loading and unloading of passengers and red zones are for emergency vehicles only. Do not leave your car unattended in a red or yellow zone as it may be ticketed. Staff members will direct traffic at the crosswalk after school. When you see the red stop sign, please stop to allow our students to cross safely. Our school library and computer lab is open Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 8 a.m. for book return and checkout and is staffed by parent volunteers. Students in grades T, K, and 1st will visit the library each week with their class. Students in grades 2 through 5 will be able to visit the library every day. Open library time will be from 1 to 2.08 p.m. and teachers will be able to send students who have completed their AR quizzes to the library with a pass to check out new books. We are looking for library helpers in the morning and during open library times to assist students with checkout and with reshelving of books. Please contact our PTA volunteer coordinator about volunteering. Arroyo Verde is a school-wide Title I school and receives funding from local, state, and federal agencies to ensure high levels of learning for all students. Our Title I monies are used primarily to provide additional learning opportunities to students in need of academic or behavioral supports. Throughout the school year, our staff monitors the learning of all students through our site, district, and state assessments. Our students and their families will receive information throughout the year about student progress towards academic and behavioral proficiencies. Parents can be involved in planning supports for our students through our school site council, English Learner Advisory Committee, and our PTA. Meeting dates and times are available on our school website. Those groups collaborate with staff to oversee our parent involvement policy and student parent contact through our single plan for school achievement. We look forward to seeing parents participate in these collaborative meetings throughout the year. There are several ways that you can utilize technology to stay connected to your child's learning. Check out our school website under parent resources for video tutorials that will help show you how to join our school website as a parent user and link to your child's class website. Daily emails are then sent with information about upcoming events and activities. You will also find help with accessing ARIES Parent Portal to check attendance, Accelerated Reader and Math Facts in a Flash, and PayPams, our online cafeteria payment program. We do serve hot breakfast and lunch every day, and parents can also fill out a school lunch application on our website. Our funding is determined by those applications, so we do ask that all our parents complete one as soon as possible. We would love to see 100% of our parents logged on as parent users. 100% is a number you will hear from us a lot. We want every child committed to learning, every child to be character-centered, and every child to be college-ready. We will not offer excuses and will not accept excuses, but will continue to push on until we reach our goal. 
Together, this amazing community of students, parents, and educators will be part of a school that ensures that each student is prepared to enter college. Thank you for your continued support, and we are honored that you are part of the Arroyo family.